Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell once you guys know I'm any of your boys. Videos. Now guys, I would be lying if I told you guys that I am not sick right now. I have a cold, I have a runny nose, I have a sore throat. I feel like absolute And today I was like, you know what, what better than to kill some time, kind of get my mind off of being sick than to film a video, a Q&A video on a bit more of a personal level, questions about myself that maybe you guys want to know, accomplishments, um, future plans, things like that. And what better way than to do it than to sit down right now, like I said, kill some time. I'm in, I've been in my room for a couple days, might as well film a video, get it up and kind of interact with you guys. So I did do the questions on my Instagram, I'll show you guys right here. And I asked you guys to ask me some questions. And with that being said, I think we should just go ahead and get right into this video. All right, guys. So question number one, I'm going to be putting it on the screen right now. It is, what motivates you in life? So one thing that motivates me in life is honestly my future, wanting to have a good future, wanting to do something different in my future. Um, my family is something that motivates me. You know, everything around me kind of motivates me to want to do more and want to do bigger things because you don't always want to be kind of just stuck in the same spot, if that makes sense. You always want to be able to be motivated to want to do more, to have more. And that doesn't necessarily mean materialistic things. You can have more and that can be a healthy life. You can have more and you can be eating better. You can have more with a lot more things and just materialistic things, if that makes sense. So one thing that definitely motivates me in life is my future and wanting to have a better future. Now, question number two. Do you plan on proposing to Nikki? Um, so, this is a question that we have addressed many, many times together, and now I kind of want to address it myself, you know, because this is more of a question for me. And the answer is only time will tell, guys. Um, I love the relationship we have, I love everything that we're doing, and I do not really want to rush into anything right now and propose and just have that, you know, like I want to be able to live our lives. And I think once we're ready to settle down, then that will be the time. But as of right now, I think we're just kind of enjoying our lives, going out, traveling, doing what we can and what we want to do. And not saying that you can't do that while you're engaged. Um, you definitely can. You can't do that while you propose. But living our lives, traveling, enjoying, having fun. So as of right now, only time will tell when that will happen. All right, guys. Question number three. What is one of your biggest accomplishments? I would have to say that one of my biggest accomplishments, honestly, is... Being able to say that me, my family, my girlfriend's family are all very close and united as one, if that makes sense. Um, we cannot hang out, we cannot have fun, we cannot go travel, we cannot do stuff and not have any problems. That's one of my biggest accomplishments. Family is a big thing to me. I'm very like, my family is something that I love, something that I cherish, right? So one of my biggest accomplishments, like I said, is being able to have my family, have my girlfriend's family and be able to have fun, be able to enjoy and live our lives basically how we want to live them. That is one of my biggest accomplishments because not everybody has that opportunity, not everybody has that chance to, to have that close bond. Um, again, leading into the same thing, one of my biggest accomplishments is having a close relationship with my family and also having a close relationship with Nicole's family. Like I said, I'm a big family person, so all of that means a lot to me and those accomplishments honestly do truly mean a lot to me. So that would definitely have to be one of my biggest accomplishments. Now this is a good question. Did you ever plan on being an influencer? The honest answer is no. I was just a normal kid that didn't know what none of that was, but I didn't know what this space was. I didn't know anything about this. Um, when I met Nicole, I didn't, I had no idea what she was doing. I had no idea that she was in this. I was still working. I think I was already starting to work with my dad, construction. So it was all brand new to me, right? When she told me, I was like, oh, okay. Like I kind of didn't really know what it was at the same time. But I was like, well, you do, you know, you know like I'm, I'm glad that you're doing it. And I was still working. I was working with my dad. I was making pretty good money so I was just working you know I had my weekends off to go out with Nicole and doing all of that and the funny thing is a lot of people would tell me oh you're just cloud chasing or oh, you're just doing this the truth is that I didn't really want to do it the people that told me to do it were actually Nicole and her parents they were like you know what you should try it out like you should you should try doing this for yourself you know and I was like I don't know it took me a really long time to actually want to do it it was not something that I was like oh I want to do this so it was more of like do I want to or like, do I just want to keep doing this? When I did my first video, it was super cringy, super hard to do. I did it and just I started going on there, domino effect. One video after the other, 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 and boom, we're here now. So thank God, gracias a Dios for everything that we've had, all the opportunities we've had. Um, no, I didn't plan on being an influencer, but gracias a Dios, we're here now. And I'm glad I'm living my life, enjoying everything that I do. So... <sighs> I feel like dog poop guys. I'm sick, my nose is runny, my eyes are probably loopy. So if you guys see me acting a little bit like drowsy, it's because I am sick. But I think we should just go ahead and answer the next question. Ooh, 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 this is a good one. It says, do you ever plan on moving out of AZ? 
I I have zero idea guys. Honestly, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how to answer that question. I don't think I would move out of Arizona just because I love how it is here. I'm comfortable here and I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not going to say no because you know you never know if you ever are going to move out of Arizona or you're not um, or where you're going to move or I don't know. You never really know. But as of right now, I love Arizona. I'm happy where I am. I love staying here. It's my home. I have all my family here. It's closer to my mom's family. So for now, I'm pretty comfortable here. So another question, guys. It's do you guys plan on getting your own place. So again, we go back to the same thing. Right now, I'm comfortable how we're living, and I do not plan on moving out yet. Just because a lot of you, a lot of people might think like, "Oh, he's old. Why doesn't he move out yet?" But right now. I have a good relationship with my parents. I'm at my parents' house right now, um, able to save up money right now. Why would I lose the opportunity and waste money and eventually get something that I really want instead of having something that I don't really want, but I just want to move out, you know? So thankfully, gracias a Dios, I have a good relationship with my parents. I'm home, I'm happy. My parents don't have an issue here. I pay bills, I don't just live here free low like that. So uh, I'm pretty happy where I am. I don't see I'm getting a place like right now, right now. You never know in the future. Like I said, only time will tell if we do get a place or if we don't get a place or if I get a place or if I don't get a place. You never really know. So my advice for you guys is if you guys have a good relationship with your parents, help them out with bills. Don't freeload on them, but help them out with bills and just stay with them as long as you can. And that will definitely help you out so much in your future when you want to move out. I think you'll be more ready, more mature. You have money saved up versus just moving out right away because you want to leave and spending so much money, you know. So just enjoy the time with your parents. We only have a set of one parents, guys. Enjoy them, love them, have fun with them. And kind of just enjoy being around them because when you move out, I'm sure it's going to suck. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit lonely. But as of right now, like I said, I'm happy here. So I don't plan on getting a place just yet. But you never really know. Only time will tell once again. This is one of my favorite questions that I, that I have got asked and it is... What is your dream life? So my dream life is I don't want to have the biggest house. I don't want to have the most cars. I don't want to have the most expensive cars, anything like that. My dream life is obviously having a beautiful home, having what I need, being healthy, but most important, being financially free and being able to travel, being able to go out. For me, it is not just having the most money, having the biggest house on the block, having the most cars on the block. For me, being for me, my dream life is just being, like I said, financially free and being healthy most of all and just being able to travel say i want to travel somewhere i could take my parents with me or little things like that you know that's my dream life for sure or like if we want to travel somewhere we can also take nicole's parents or both parents and and just kind of like you know being able to be free in a way <sighs> Alrighty, guys so i think that is going to be it for today i wanted to do more questions but i'm starting to feel a little bit sick again and i don't know i want to keep vlogging if i feel like super super sick right i just started vlogging because i felt a little bit better but I'm starting to feel a little down again. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And definitely comment down below what videos you guys want to see. I have a couple videos planned this month. Unfortunately, getting sick kind of threw my schedule off. But I do have about three or four videos that I want to film and upload ASAP. So definitely stay tuned for that. And, and let me also comment down below. Are you guys enjoying the content? And if you guys haven't, make sure to go follow my Instagram. I will leave it right here. I kind of post on there more than I post on YouTube. So if you guys don't really like see me active on youtube you guys will see me more active on instagram but with that being said if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you guys haven't already make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one peace